Oh, and have you ever wondered if the power of focused thought could potentially transport you back in time? Imagine a world where time is not a one-way street, but an intricate web of possibilities. In this world, the power of your mind, honed by deep concentration, could potentially navigate this web, projecting your consciousness back to interact with your past self. This is the concept of mindful time travel. A purely hypothetical notion, yet one that challenges our understanding of reality. If our thoughts honed and focused could indeed influence the fabric of time, how would this change our perception of the past, present and future? What would be the implications for our understanding of the self and our place in the universe? These are profound questions, ones that invite us to delve deeper into the mysteries of consciousness and time. Let's dive into this fascinating concept and see where our thoughts take us. Imagine a world where our thoughts have a tangible impact on the fabric of reality. In such a world, the boundaries of time could flex under the weight of focused cognition, allowing us to reach back and touch our past selves. But how would this work? In this hypothetical scenario, we're not talking about physical time travel. There's no need for a DeLorean or a TARDIS here. Instead, this is a journey of the mind, a form of temporal projection where consciousness, not the body, travels through time. This process would begin with an intense concentration, a focusing of the mind with such precision that it pierces the veil of linear time. Imagine it like a mental laser beam, so concentrated and powerful that it can cut through the temporal fabric and illuminate the past. Once this connection is established, you would be able to observe your past self, like a spectral viewer privy to the events that have unfolded. You could witness your past actions, relive your emotions and perceive your former thoughts with a new mature perspective. But what about interaction? Could you communicate with your past self? In this concept of mindful time travel, the interaction is limited. You can observe, but you can't interfere. It's like watching a movie. You can experience the story, but you can't change the plot. This solves the potential problem of causing a paradox, a situation where the present self alters the past, leading to changes in the current timeline. However, the power of observation should not be underestimated. By observing our past, we can gain insights into our actions and decisions. We can learn from our mistakes, celebrate our successes and understand our growth over time. This could lead to a profound sense of self-awareness and personal growth. This form of time travel would allow us to observe and interact with our past without altering the timeline. It's a journey through the corridors of time, a voyage of self-discovery that could expand our understanding of ourselves and the universe around us. And all it requires is a focused mind and a willingness to explore the untapped potential of our consciousness. To understand how this might be theoretically possible, let's explore the principles of quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics, the field that studies the world of the incredibly small, brings forth some fascinating concepts. Among them is the phenomenon of quantum entanglement, a process where two or more particles become linked and the state of one particle instantly influences the state of the other, regardless of the distance between them. Now imagine if this principle applied not only across space, but also across time. A particle in the present could theoretically be entangled with a particle in the past. If we stretch this idea, we might suggest that the human mind, through some yet unknown process, could initiate this type of quantum entanglement with its former self. This would be like creating a mental bridge, a link between your present consciousness and a moment in your past. In theory, this could create a bridge to our past. But what would be the ethical and psychological implications of such an ability? Let's delve into this. On the one hand, the power to revisit one's past could be a tremendous tool for self-improvement. Imagine being able to observe your past actions and decisions from a detached perspective, free from the heat of the moment and the fog of emotion. This could provide invaluable insights into your behavior and motivations, allowing you to grow as a person by learning from your past self. But on the other hand, there's a risk of becoming overly fixated on past mistakes. If we're constantly looking back, constantly ruminating on what we could have done differently, it could hinder our ability to live in the present. It could lead to a sort of temporal tunnel vision where we're so focused on the rear view mirror that we miss what's happening right in front of us. And then there's the potential for psychological distress. Revisiting traumatic events could cause old wounds to reopen and without the proper therapeutic guidance, this could do more harm than good. 
we need to remember that our memories, particularly the painful ones, can carry a lot of emotional weight. It's not something to be taken lightly. However, alongside these risks, there could also be therapeutic benefits. For those who are ready and have the right support, revisiting past traumas could offer a form of catharsis, a way to process and come to terms with these events. It could even be a form of self-guided exposure therapy, helping individuals to confront and overcome their fears. But let's not forget the ethical implications. If we have the power to observe our past selves, do we have a responsibility to use this power wisely? And who gets to decide what constitutes wise use of this ability? These are questions that we, as a society, would need to grapple with. The psychological impact of this ability could be profound, both positively and negatively. It's a double-edged sword of potential benefit and risk, a delicate balance between insight and obsession, healing and hurt. And it's a balance that each individual would need to navigate for themselves. So how could one potentially unlock this ability? The answer might lie in meditation and mindfulness practices. Just imagine the key to bridging the gap between now and then could be as simple as closing your eyes, focusing your mind and grounding yourself in the present moment. This is the essence of meditation and mindfulness practices that have been honed over thousands of years across numerous cultures to enhance concentration and awareness. These practices are not just about relaxation or stress relief, they are about honing our ability to focus and sustain attention. In doing so, we can achieve a heightened state of awareness, a state where we are fully present and engaged with our experiences, where our minds are not clouded by distractions or preoccupied with future anxieties. This enhanced focus and awareness could be the mental discipline required for our hypothetical journey to the past. Think of meditation as the training ground for your mind, the place where you learn to control your thoughts rather than letting them control you. It's about discovering the power within you to shape your reality, to influence the course of your life. And in our thought experiment, this power extends beyond the present moment, reaching back through the corridors of time. Mindfulness, on the other hand, is about being fully present, aware of where we are and what we're doing, not overly reactive or overwhelmed by what's going on around us. It's about finding peace in the present moment, a peace that could provide the stability needed to venture into the echoes of our past. This is all theoretical, of course. We don't have any evidence to suggest that meditation and mindfulness could actually enable time travel. But isn't it fascinating to consider the possibilities? To imagine that these ancient practices could hold the key to such an extraordinary journey, that through learning to control our minds we could potentially unlock abilities beyond our wildest dreams? Through meditation and mindfulness, we could theoretically take the first steps towards this extraordinary journey. While this remains firmly in the realm of speculation, it serves as a fascinating thought experiment. Let's take a moment to recap our journey. We've explored the intriguing concept of mindful time travel, a non-physical journey to the past driven by the power of focused thought. We've dipped our toes into the perplexing waters of quantum mechanics, considering how quantum entanglement might theoretically enable a bridge to our former selves. We've pondered the ethical and psychological implications, the potential benefits and pitfalls of revisiting past experiences. We've recognized the potential role of meditation and mindfulness as tools to unlock this hypothetical ability. Remember, this is but a thought experiment, an imaginative exploration of what might be possible if we could harness the full potential of our minds.